Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you some tactical analysis over on the Bitcoin chart as Bitcoin is clearly oversold. So the question really is, are we due for a pump towards the top side or will Bitcoin continue to sell off and get further oversold than it already is? So with that being said, let's jump over to the charts. And we will start over here on the one week candles for Bitcoin. As you can see, we may not be at the bottom for Bitcoin. So there is definitely more room for it to sell off. As in previous bear markets, Bitcoin has seen a sell off of approximately 85% from previous all time highs. So if we look at our most recent all time high of 69,000 and if Bitcoin was to sell off to about 85%, we're looking at around 10,005. And so even though we are currently in oversold territory, there is more room towards the downside, obviously, for Bitcoin. Now, the indicator I'm referring to is the RSI or relative strength indicator, which is this indicator down here at the bottom of my screen. So if we enlarge that indicator, you can see we are currently in oversold territory, which is below the 20 level on the RSI. Now, most of your major markets like the stock markets and what have you, they consider oversold at 30. I, however, when trading crypto, consider 20 as the oversold level for the world of crypto, as there is obviously more volatility in the world of crypto. And on the overbought side, I also consider 80 rather than 70 to be overbought. So with that all being said, the level I'm looking at as far as oversold is the green line running through the chart here, and that is going to be at the 20 level. And you can see Bitcoin is currently below that level. However, it did get a little bit of a bounce on last week's candle, which closed, I guess you would consider it bullish, but in reality, it's kind of a spinning top. We'll take a look at that a little more in a moment. But what actually got my attention was looking back, checking my six, back to December of 2018, we saw a very similar pattern set up where the Bitcoin price got oversold below the 20 level only to eventually recover and actually move up well above the overbought level. And that took place around May 27th, 2019. So that was about a six month rally that Bitcoin put in before eventually selling off again. Now the question is, could Bitcoin see a similar rally and push back up over, say, the next five or six months, which would get us into around November or December of 2022? And so that is basically what I will be keeping an eye on as far as the RSI indicator. You can see at both points back here in 2018, we get a pivot point. And we then see the RSI move up and we now currently have a similar pivot point. And now all that is really left to do is see if the bulls will continue this momentum up. And that is what the RSI indicator is. It's a momentum indicator. It's not a trend indicator. So it's really just a momentum indicator, whether we're oversold or overbought. So right now we basically just have a pivot towards bullish momentum which is essentially due to last week's candle closing in the green. However, like I mentioned, it's kind of a spinning top candle. And what that basically entails is these two wicks towards the top and the bottom and a fairly small body. It's almost a doji candle, which we all know to be an indecision candle. And therefore, neither the bulls or the bears really won the battle last week. And so really for the RSI to get out of that oversold territory, we need to see a bullish candle back up towards the top side. And if I drop in my key levels, I'm watching the first level of resistance. If the bulls are able to push this price up is going to be the 1618 level, which is going to be around 23,005. Now, what's interesting about that level is if we jump over here to the open interest for Bitcoin that are actually expiring July 1st, which would be the end of this week. And so it's kind of a end of week and end of month expiration date. We can see that the maximum paying price for both the bears and the bulls is 22,000. 
And so that 23,005 level of resistance could be in play, but really 23,000 might be a more realistic level of resistance. And you can see as far as the actual open interest, there's a little more on the put side, which would be bearish versus the call side, which would be your bullish. However, it's pretty close to being even, but with the bears having a little more at risk, they really are probably looking for this price to get down probably below 19,000. Definitely would want it below 20,000, but anything down below 19 or 18,000 would be a good payday for the bears. So keeping these levels in mind, the 20, 19, and 18,000, and of course the 23,000, let's jump back over to the chart. And the first level of support we have dropped in here is 19.5. Now I dropped that level in a couple weeks ago when Bitcoin was approaching the 1618 level. We were looking for what would be the next level of support if Bitcoin broke down below this 1618 level of 23.5. And we were looking back at previous resistance to turn into support. And I kind of made a zone from 19.5 down to 16,000 where we saw previous support. So this was kind of a support resistance zone. We were looking to turn into support over here, which it did. Bitcoin sold off to around 17.5, found some support and ended up closing above the 19.5 level. Now, last week's candle, you can see actually did wick right into this 19.5 level and then pulled back up to pretty close to its previous close. Like I said, we have somewhat of a doji or spinning top candle so last week's close which happened yesterday i don't necessarily classify as bullish or bearish pretty much just neutral or a bunch of indecision and right now today's candle is similar however it's only monday so we have a long way to go on this weekly candle but we have those levels to consider the 19.5 or 19,000 level and the 17.5 level would be key levels of support they would also be levels that the bears would like to push this price down to to cash in on those open options by the end of the week. However, Bitcoin is clearly oversold on the RSI, which would typically indicate a possible reversal in momentum back towards the top side, as we would then be looking at 23.5 as possible resistance. And at the end of the day, that would be the range I would look for Bitcoin to trade in. Basically from 17.5 to probably around 23.5, any breach above or below these levels could result in even a bigger move. And if Bitcoin actually got a bigger move towards the top side, the next level we'd be looking at is 28.7 or maybe close to 29,000, which would be your 1272 level. And that would actually have some relevance over here on the CME futures chart for Bitcoin on the daily candles. And so perhaps that break above 23.5 could result in a bigger push up towards filling this gap. Now, referring to the RSI over here on the Bitcoin CME futures daily chart, very similar to the weekly chart over on Bitcoin. Bitcoin becomes oversold, you get a pivot, and now we get bullish divergence. And so bullish divergence, unfortunately, is kind of a short-term signal. And it looks like we probably saw the bullish divergence play out over the last couple days last week on the futures. And right now, we're obviously seeing a reversal on the futures. And so Bitcoin got above the oversold region. Now the question is, can the momentum continue over here on the RSI indicator? So I think that's enough jaw jacking for this video. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If anything major happens over here on the charts, I will do an update video. So you might want to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss update videos. If you have questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.